What's one of the toughest things that you as a president had to deal with that the average citizen just cannot understand? Well, I could give you lots of examples, of, but the, first let me say that all the bad days are good if you're president because there's always something you can do to make a positive difference. Right. As long as you don't care if they're out to get you or whatever. You can't get paranoid about it. You just got to show up for work. Right. But uh, the day the Prime Minister of Israel at Sakhra Bin was murdered in 1995, he was my friend. Mm. I loved him. But I also knew that he was the only Israeli leader that was totally trusted by the Palestinian leadership, Yasser Arafat and the others. Right. And uh, a young Israeli killed him because he was giving part of the West Bank over to the Palestinians. And the day he died, I was both heartbroken personally because I loved him. Like I never loved another man, I think. Right. And... I had to think as president, I also knew that in all probability this would kill the peace process. Yes. Because you can't make peace and make a huge, think about any fight you ever had with anybody, and make a huge compromise. And both sides got to make huge compromise. You can only do that with somebody you trust. Mm. You may have been in a duel with them. You may have been shooting each other's soldiers, but you have to trust them. Yasser Arafat trusted Issaac Rabin. He knew if he said it's going to be A, it would be A. Yeah. He knew he didn't have to have it in writing. If he shook his hand, it would be true. We somehow have to recover that. Our differences are healthy. Nobody's right all the time. These debates can be good. But where there's no trust, it's almost impossible to have an effective agreement over anything. And so I sat there that day wanting to just cry and indulge myself in my grief. And I said, no, 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 no. You first have to be president. You got to figure out how to try to keep this thing alive. Right. And it's hard. It's hard when you want to be a human being and your job won't let you be. Right. Wow. That's deep. That's deep. And I thank you for your sacrifice because you would want to just feel. But thank you for leading us thank in you. those difficult times. But it was a... Thank you. That was my